Peace, 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 little light of hill, peace, little light of hill, peace to the gods, peace to the earth, y'all climb on in the building. I got good news, y'all, good news, Gorilla Mix is finally ready for the public, y'all, it's finally ready, uh, the website finna be done in a couple of more days, but I wanna show y'all, so what we have been doing, I'm gonna let y'all climb in first, climb on in, family, peace, peace, shalom, 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 l'akai mishpati, blessings, blessings, if you like working out, if you just need energy, what else not be? If you need more focus, you want to grow some muscles and lose weight real fast, like what I done did. Y'all see how much weight I lost and how I'm turning it all into muscle. Like if you if you interested enough and, and you need some natural products with no uh, additives, no preservatives, none of that stuff. Straight plant based and all fruits and vegetables, y'all. Climb on in the building. Y'all go lay down. It's time for y'all to lay down. My bad, y'all. I'm at one of my spots, one of my properties. I got my children with me, and they up and rumbling tonight. Y'all climb on in. So uh, we've been testing this stuff out. So the Gorilla Mix. I created the Gorilla Mix probably about like seven years ago. Uh, all of the all of the NBA player, professional NBA players is on it. Uh, most of the NFL players are on it. And what I was doing was I was converting a lot of uh, professional uh, boxers, a lot of professional NFL players and basketball players over into plant based. But what we noticed is when we took them to plant based, they started dropping a weight rapidly. And a lot of them was either getting benched or they was getting uh, penalized because they weren't keeping up with their weight. And just like uh, in boxing. Uh, in football, you got you to gotta maintain a certain amount of weight. So uh, I came up with this formula, and it's called the Gorilla Mix. Well, I studied the Gorilla for three years, y'all, and I just studied what they eat. I studied their movements, everything, and we went through over 100 different foods, superfoods, and we put them together as powders. And uh, I created three powders. One of them give you energy. The other one give you strong amino acid compounds or what they call proteins. You see what I'm saying? And I'm going to show y'all. So these is... These are just test samples. We've been testing this out for so long, y'all. Testing it out for so long. Uh, what I was doing was we was going to people, we was going to all the NBA uh, and the NFL people houses, and we was working with them, and I was creating it for them, but I never gave them the formula because a lot of them was trying to take the formula and take it mainstream and act like it was there. So I never, ever, ever let it uh, go free. So since we have came up with the logo, we got uh, everything copywritten, and we got our trademark, I'm like, look, let's go and make it for the public and make mass production. So a lot of y'all been asking me for it because y'all have been seeing the NFL players talk about it and basketball players talk about it. And I've been talking about it in my interviews. So these are the testers. We've been testing it out because I didn't know if I wanted to do flavor or non-flavor. So the thing with that was when we was taking it to the laboratories in order to get it to taste good, they was trying to put other stuff in it to make it taste good. And I'm like, no, nah, we should be able to get some lemon peels and should be able to get some strawberries or organically to make it taste how we want it to taste and i promise y'all i think we got it what you think nabi we got it i think we done figured it out y'all so uh this is the unflavored one where we not going with this gorilla mix energy the labels and everything look good they done but remember this is straight from our labs so we're not doing that one this is gorilla turn it down this is gorilla superfood powder which is unflavored we're not doing that one this one is Gorilla Muscle Up. This is the strawberry lemonade flavor, y'all. This is my favorite one. This tastes so good. And I'm talking about, I'm building these amino acid compounds is like really building my muscle. And then don't get it twisted. We work out like every day. We probably take three days a month off. So that's the reason why y'all seeing my body and my composition and my muscles change so good because of that. So this is the Gorilla uh, Muscle Up powder. This is the Gorilla... This is the Gorilla Superfood Powder, and this is an actual citric uh, flavor. This tastes super good, too. And then last but not least, we got, we got the uh, Gorilla Energy. Where's Gorilla Energy? Here it go. And this is the Gorilla Energy, and this is one of my favorite ones because it's a tropical flavor. And the flavors are all natural, y'all. All of these are fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables, no additives, no preservatives, none of that. We're not using no salts. we just using straight fruits and vegetables. That's it, y'all. So they'll be on the website. 
The logos is done. We're working on the labels now, and it's going to be amazing, y'all. And the good thing about this is it's not like my regular herbs because my regular herbs we make to tailor fit you for your healing. These are already going to be pre-made on the shelf. So that so soon as you order, we're going to have it shipped to you within four to six days. See, you go on www.yakiawaken.com. Most of y'all are dealing with, you know, hard diseases. So you got to fill out the intake form. Then we got to make the herbs to tailor to you after you fill out the intake form so it takes a while to get to you. These, there is no catering. You know what I'm saying? Everything you need, all the superfoods are in them. All of the energy that you need is in them, and it's amazing. So, uh... Yeah, let's taste them out now, B. Let's do it. So we finna go work out now. I always do it about 30. I do one in before I wake up. So when I wake up, I do my energy always. When I wake up, I hit the energy. You know what I'm saying? And I do some lemon water or I do my geogenetic juice. That's what I do. I do eight ounces of that. Then I start my day. I never eat until about what, Nabi? 12, 1 o'clock. 12, 1 o'clock is when I eat. And the reason why I keep asking him for y'all know I'm not lying. So my first meal is always afternoon or one. I don't. I do liquids before that. But I do take my, my energy. When I get up in the morning and then what I do is after I eat my first meal, I do my superfood plus and these are scoopers. They all scoopers. So then I do a scoop of the superfood plus and I'm going to show y'all what it look like. And then right before I work out, about 30 minutes before my workouts, I do the muscle up gorilla mix. So we finna work out. So let's hit the muscle up and it looks good. Y'all. I mean, these are nothing but plant based. Look how green it is. Fine powder. And what we've been noticing is we don't need to use all of that. So I'm gonna make the lab, I'm gonna make the lab make these much smaller because uh, they're gonna be in 25 ounce bottles. But this is so much. It's so much. Like uh, when you do this much of energy, you be bouncing off the walls. You know what I'm saying? I be feeling like I'm, I be feeling like a straight angry gorilla in the gym. So what we've been doing is going down on the dosage. So that's the only part we do gotta figure out before we finalize them labels. Now, be so I'm gonna do about that much of it. Get my water bottle ready. It says, does the muscle up cause weight gain? Uh, it, I wouldn't say weight gain. I would say muscle gain. But you know, muscle weighs more than fat. You see what I'm saying? Muscle weighs more than fat. Like right now, I'm at, I'm at 176. Uh, I was at 180. But now I'm at 176. But I actually feel, even though I'm leaner, I feel heavier because I'm turning all of that fat that I had. Them, them adipocyte cells, them adipose tissues, that visceral fat. I'm converting it into muscle fibers now. So I actually feel a little heavier, but I feel lighter in a way. I can't really explain it because all of that fat, that sloppy fat that I had from eating, you know, just eating all of the vegan foods that I was eating. And, you know, even though my diet was impeccable, I wasn't working out and moving my body. And then my metabolism slow because I got a slower thyroid than a lot of people. Everybody in my family have uh, bad thyroids. You know, I'm probably like me and my mom are probably the only people in our family that fixed our thyroid. You see what I'm saying? So, but my thyroid, metabolically is still slow so I can eat anything and gain weight off of it I can go on all fruits right now and, and probably still gain weight that's that's how slow my metabolism is so uh what I notice is once I got on a muscle up I didn't lose weight I'm just leaning up but I'm feeling thicker though you know what I'm saying I'm feeling thicker I got muscles I ain't never had in my life so let's take it and I'll let y'all ask many, as many questions as y'all want with a muscle at with the muscle contract I don't know what they say. Will the muscle contract back when you stop? Uh, I don't believe so. I mean, long as you stand, long as you keeping in motion and you moving your body every day like you're supposed to, and you doing strength training. Strength training is very, very important, y'all. I know a lot of y'all think. I know a lot of y'all think that I, I'm against uh, weightlifting. I'm not against weightlifting. I'm against bodybuilding. Bodybuilders. That's 240 pounds solid muscle. That is super, super unhealthy. You will get a heart attack from it because you're very, very heavy. The body don't know the difference between muscle and fat per. Se. I'm gonna say per se because it does in a sense. So, you know, you can be a bodybuilder and, and have 6% fat on your body and all the rest muscles, but you can have a heart attack because all those muscles are too heavy for your physical structure. So it speeds your heart rate up and it pumps blood faster because you got to keep up with all that muscle and keep bloods into those muscle fibers to keep the body moving. That's no difference from a person that's full of uh, adipose tissues or that's full of adipocyte cells. So being overweight and having too much muscle mass is the same thing to the body and the body will react to it in a different way. You see what I'm saying? So I'm not a, I'm not against weightlifting. I think strength training is very, very important. I'm on a live. Be quiet. Go lay down. 
Go lay down. <laughs> these look, these children. So, you know, I've never been against uh, weightlifting. I've always been against bodybuilding. And I don't recommend that you do a lot of weightlifting when you detoxing because it builds up a lot, of, a lot of lactic acid and it puts the body into the anaerobic state and it robs the cells of oxygen and it forces the actual mitochondria and the microorganisms in the body to burn the muscle and tear down those fibers for you. So I just don't want you doing that when you detoxing and you trying to regenerate cells. But if you're not detoxing, strength train. I strength train every day. I do cardio Every day, I love where I'm so addicted to the gym now. And I got a, I got a big gym in my house, uh, sauna in my house. Like this is what we do. And then when I'm traveling, I make sure I get some of the best hotels that got some of the best gyms in it. Does any of this have grapefruit in it? No, none of this have grapefruit in it. None of it have grapefruit in it. Good question. And then all of the ingredients is gonna be on this because we finna put this in stores and stuff, y'all. And it's so good. That's that strawberry lemonade, man. That mug fire. Gorilla Muscle Up Strawberry Lemonade flavor. Fire. What else y'all got? I'm trying to gain the healthy way. And my husband trying to burn fat and gain muscle. The best way to lose fat and to gain muscle is working out, exercising, strength, training. I'm telling y'all. So what you're telling me is that this is a natural steroid. I hate the word steroid, so I'm not going to say that at all. I would say this is a gorilla mix. This is the way that the gorillas diet. This is the nutrients and the phytonutrients that they put in. Uh, the gorillas eat superfoods all day and they work out all day. And when they do work out, they work out in high interval training. Like they, they doing hit training when they work out. If you study gorillas and watch the way they work out, and that's how we base our workouts. And I notice when we base our workouts like that, and we take the gorilla, the gorilla mix and whole, we getting all the essential amino acids we need. We getting all the energy we need to kick on our actual adrenal glands and a, a, a hypothalamus gland. Uh, it molds and shapes and helps the thyroid metabolize better. And when we take the actual superfood powder, these are all the phytonutrients you need. So these three different things is everything you need within your day. You do one scoop in the rising, another scoop after your first meal, after uh, 12 or 1 p.m., which is what we do. And then you, you do another one since we work out at night because we always working during the day. We super busy. I know you. Put, it's better to work out in the daytime when you first get up. When you fast it in a fasted state, that way you can burn more fat. But since soon as we get up, we got to start handling business. We work out late at late nights. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, we we be trying. Haven't we been trying? Yeah, we try. It never worked out for us to try to work out in the risings. So uh, what we do is we work out late nights. So we do our last scoop actually in the night. So if you a person that go to the gym or you go to your home gym in the risings, what I would do is I would do one scoop of energy and one scoop of muscle up. And then what you would do is your superfood you would take after your first, uh, after you break your fast after 12 or one. And then you don't have to take no more scoops for the rest of the, for the rest of the day. I want to put on some weight. This will put you on some weight. What's in the muscle one? It's a bunch of stuff in the one in the, in the muscle one. But uh, what we the, our, one of our main things uh, in the muscle one is uh, man, we got so much stuff. But it's gonna be our sprouts. Our sprouts uh, our our uh, horse sprouts is real good up in there. Uh, that's the main one for the for the muscle up powders. Uh, we got avocado powder. I know this sounds crazy, but yes, you can turn avocado into a powder. <laughs> we got avocado powder. We got a bunch of, uh, of natural fats, amino acid chains, or what you would call peptides, not polypeptides in there. So anything that you see a gorilla eat, we even got bamboo shoots up in there, bamboo shoots powder. It's a bunch of stuff. So since the muscle up is full of like vegetable matter to actually grow you know, to uh, to actually grow mammals, it tastes hella nasty. And that's the reason why we head 
to try to make it taste good because it tasted horrible as hell at first. We like, man, I know people, it tastes like the three bitters. Ain't nobody going to taste it. I mean, ain't no, people will buy it, but they ain't going to buy it again. You know what I'm saying? They ain't going to be able to really see the results of it because the horrible taste, because it comes from so many bitter, you know what I'm saying? And it got so many amino acids in it and it's a part of the vegetable kingdom. So we had to figure out a way to make it taste like fruits. And we did, and we did that with strawberries and, uh, and lemons, which man, it tastes amazing. I can't wait till y'all taste it. And once everything is ready, I'm gonna uh, give up. I'm probably give away 50 of them for free, y'all. Like, man, so you know, we've been having a bunch of people on this stuff, but it's always been like the private, our private clients. This is gonna be our first time we actually giving this to the public. Is there a way to slow down the metabolism? Uh, Deja, Deja, yes, there is. And that's what I did. And I don't think that you should do that because I purposely slowed down my metabolism and now I'm finally getting it back up. I purposely did that because when I went on my 120 day juice fast, I was super, super skinny, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And I had to figure out a way to gain my weight back. So what I did was I slowed down my metabolism. And then once I slowed down my meta met metabolism, I've been trying to get it back high ever since, y'all. Ever since. So it's going to be super easy for you to gain weight, but it's going to be super hard for you to lose weight. So I wouldn't even give you that method, but it is a way to do it. But you have to trip the thyroid. And I don't recommend nobody playing around with their hormones like that. You might as well take a steroid. You see what I'm saying? So uh, I wouldn't mess with the thyroid at all. This is a very, very crucial organ. It is not a gland. It's an organ because it produces and creates things. It's a very, very, uh, a very important organ in our body. And once you go fucking with it, it's hard to get it back, y'all. It really is. So, you know, I would say, I would say to just build muscle. If you can build muscle, if you're trying to grow your butt, you know, make sure you're doing uh, gluteus maximus exercises. Make sure that you're doing inclines when you're doing your squats. Like, you make sure you're working on your hamstrings. Like, work for your body. Don't start messing with your hormones. Don't start targeting certain organs, target muscle groups. Because when you start messing with hormones and you start messing with the glandular highway, it's hard to get these things back, y'all. I'm just keeping it 100 with y'all. You talking to somebody that personally slowed down their thyroid on purpose to gain weight back. And then, you know, I had all of y'all calling me the, the fat, healthy vegan, the fat, healthy this. You see what I'm saying? When my diet was impeccable, it's just that it was hard for me to lose weight. So I had to figure out, I'm like, look. I'm finna just have to hit this gym to prove it to myself, you know, prove it to my people, prove it to everybody that, you know what I'm saying, that you have to look like what you teach. You can't be out. It's impossible for me to be out here weighing more than the people that I'm talking to about their sickness and their illnesses, telling them to eat all fruits and do all. And I don't even look like what I'm preaching. That's crazy. You see what I'm saying? And I don't never want to be that type of example to my people. I want to I want to be the person who I'm teaching. I want to look like a God body. I want to teach like a God body and I want to act like a God body. So I had the God body mindset. Well, I got the God body mindset, should I say. I got the God body intellect. I got the God body aura, but I didn't have the God body body. So, you know what I'm saying? We got to work on the body, y'all. What did it say? Nuts and seeds in it. Nope. That, look, ironically, there is no nuts in. There is a few seeds in it, but there is no nuts in it. It says, what exactly is the gorilla mix and how should you use it? I just said it. I just said that family, you must have just came in here. How much is it? It ain't gonna be that expensive at all. This actually ain't gonna be that expensive at all. We haven't got yes, alpha alpha sprouts is one of the main ingredients. Yes, the sprouts is one the alpha alpha sprouts is one of the main ingredients in the muscle up. <laughs> In the Gorilla Energy, one of the main ingredients is uh, blueberries and blackberry juice powder. Blueberries and blackberry juice powder. All the ingredients is going to be on it. Uh, and one of the main ingredients in the actual superfood is going to be the alpha, alpha sprouts as well. But it's a bunch, I mean, a bunch of berries in it as well. So, man, these things are amazing. Thank you for the congratulations. What about weight gain? <laughs> I keep trying to tell you, if you want to gain weight, Build muscle. Y'all don't be listening, man. How can I lose belly fat and keep my muscle? So what I've been look. So look, that's a good question. What I've been doing. Look and look, y'all. I'm not an expert. I'm not an expert in working out. I just started working out, family. 
So I'm, I'm an expert in health, nutrition, and in detoxification and healing diseases. I'm a health and anatomy and physiology and biochemistry and biology. That's what I'm an expert at that. I am not an expert at working out. Y'all want to talk to somebody about working out, you have to talk to a workout expert. I'm not that, and I'm not even for the sitter and act like that. But look, my belly was big. My belly is getting smaller and smaller. It's been the last thing to leave on me. But what I notice is when I when I do more legs and incorporate more legs, mm -hmm. I notice that my stump, my belly gets smaller and small, smaller. So when I lose, I'm losing my gut by working on my legs. Every, everybody was telling me to focus on core, focus on core. I got a very strong core, but in front of my core is a bunch of visceral fucking fat. You see that? I can do sit-ups. I can stand, I can lay flat on my back and stand straight up from a sit-up. I mean, I can go from a crunch straight up. That's how strong my core is, but I'm, it's packed behind all of that fat. Well, at least it was. I still got some fat to go, though. You see what I'm saying? But I noticed I started slimming down, do cardio every workout, at least yeah. run a mile and a half to two miles before your workout or post-workout. I make sure we do cardio. Then what me and I be do every day is, uh, I'm going to let you tell it what we do every day. We do before, um, before we work out. Before we work out, we do uh, five sets, five sets of 20 reps, push-ups, uh, sit-ups, squats, jumping jacks. And uh, uh, calf, calf raises, calf raises, and we do that, and we do it quick too. We knock it right out. So uh, yeah, let's go. So so that's our warm up. So our warm up is push ups. We do a hundred push ups. Then as soon as we do a hundred push ups, we go into a hundred squats. Right after our hundred squats, we do a hundred jumping jacks. Right after the hundred jumping jacks, we do a hundred crunches. Right after the hundred crunches, we do a hundred calf raises. So that's the warm up. That's our cardio warm up. Then we do our workout. Our workout probably lasts about an hour. And then after that, we either do our cardio or we do the cardio before we do the whole entire session. Right. You know what I'm saying? But what we noticed is to lose that visceral fat in your gut is legs. I'm telling y'all, they are sleeping. At least talking about me and him. I can't speak for everybody else. But I but what I noticed was chiseling my 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 uh was chiseling my visceral fat off and slimming down my gut is them damn squats. Squats, working on your butt and working on your legs and your hand, working on your legs, it does something to the core. I don't know what. I ain't figured out that mechanism just yet. We've been. I'm finally starting to study the science behind exercises because I never was really into it. I'm finally getting into that part. So you know, give me about a year or two. I'm gonna be able to. I'm gonna be sharp at it because whatever I put my mind to, I master it. But right now, I'm, I can't really tell y'all exactly the scientific evidence uh, about that. But if you want to work, we are not gorillas. If you don't get your weird ass off my live, see, I'm finna start just blocking these Negroes. How you block this Negro? Here you go, blocked. My bad, y'all. But uh, so that that's how I'm losing my gut. So build muscle, strength training, cardio, and do leg day. Make sure you're doing leg day more than everything, y'all. I do leg day more than everything. Can I work out with you? Come on, Blackout, let's do it. So, look, before our seminars, though, because we got some stuff coming out, y'all. Mm -hmm. uh, man, we got some stuff coming out. We got some stuff coming out. Should I tell them or wait? Wait till it's done. Let's wait. Let's tell them next week. Yeah, but uh, we got we got it for we Y'all going to be able to work out with us, though. Y'all going to be able to work out with us, though. I promise. Very soon. This is a part of my lifestyle. I'm addicted. This all I do is work out. <laughs> Every day. Literally. Will this help with acid reflux? I know for a fact that the Gorilla Food Superfood Powder will help with your acid reflux. Reflux for for a fact. But if you're dealing with acid reflux, you missing uh, minerals. The mineral magnesium is what you're missing. And I ain't get on here to answer health questions, y'all. I just really get on here to talk, tell y'all about this, but I'm going to answer this, though, for you. Whenever you're dealing with acid reflux, you're dealing with acids, hydrochloric acid coming back up through the esophagus because you have a door called the cardiac sphincter that shuts your stomach off from your actual esophagus and food tube. It's a door there. It's a little flabby tissue. And it's called the cardiac sphincter. The reason why they call it the cardiac sphincter is it's, it's above the belly navel. Anything above the, the actual navel. Call it. But what we call the heart. So what, what closes this door or relaxes that muscle to close the door is magnesium. So usually people that suffer from bad 
acid reflux, they are missing magnesium in their diet. So that just mean, and, and that is 95% of the population of America. They're very, very magnesium and selenium deficient. So you just need to get magnesium back into your body. And if you want magnesium and potassium or what they call potassium, sweet potatoes. Do some baked sweet potatoes. It have tons of it in there. And if you think I'm lying, all you have to do is just do a googly scholar on it and look up the actual composition of sweet potato. They're full of potassium and magnesium. And that should be all you need. And remember, don't go around doing isolated chemistry. Make sure you're doing whole foods. These are not isolations. This is literally whole foods that have been grinded up to a powder. And how we preserve them is you, you, you make them out of a juice first. And then from the juice, from the juice, you dry the juice out. It's kind of like it's, they use machines to do it, but you dehydrate the juice. And then once you dry the juice out, you do a powder and it preserves itself. Because inside of these things have self-preservatives, natural self-preservatives. So we're not using nothing to, to preserve these things. They preserve themselves. And you do that by drying them out. You make a juice, then you dry them out. So what y'all going to see is y'all see, uh, y'all see alpha, alpha sprout juice powder. And that's how you make it. So I know y'all going to be looking at that like, how the hell is it a juice and it's a powder? It goes through a drying process and then a powder process after that. I'm never getting my package. Everybody get their package, y'all. It might take a little while, but I just explained that. And if you're looking for your package, all you have to do is hit us up at orders. Orders at yakiawaken.com with your order number or call the building. And make sure if they're not answering them I and they're on the phone, keep calling. And uh, Danielle will answer and she'll check on your package. Or Brother Bernard will hit you up in the email and uh, let you know the progress of your package. Or you going to blog this. Yeah, I'm going to start blogging this. All right, y'all, I'm finna get up out of here, y'all. I just wanted to let y'all know that. All right, we got to get to this workout. I'm starting to feel, <laughs> I'm feeling it. Peace, love, light, and healing. Peace to the gods, peace to the earth. I love y'all. Uh, I'll check, I, I check on y'all tomorrow. Protein substitutes, alpha, alpha sprouts, avocado, a uh, very, very good protein substitute. I hate, this, I hate the word protein. We're going to call it this, uh, amino acid structure, but... uh. That's good for you. All of your dark leafy green vegetables is very good. Just look in the jungle. Look what you closely assimilate, which, which is the primate kingdom, and look at what they eat. Follow that diet. That is all of the so-called proteins you need. It don't, you don't need meat. Look, so what you eat for protein, which is the animal's meat, look at what they eat and eat what they eat. Because how they get their protein is by eating the vegetables. So you, you go to... Quit going to the middleman, which is the animal. Go to what they eat and eat what they eat, and you will gain the same muscle mass as long as you stay moving. Because moving, these animals stay moving all day. They on their legs all day, even the four-legged beasts we're talking about. And they, they getting up to tons and tons off of this. Now, they are going to eat way more than you. So what you have to do is you just have to get all of the superfoods, the best ones in the world, put them all together, and then just bring them all together and chop them up into fine little granules and eat them. That way you get in high amounts of nutrition. So if you can flood the bloodstream with these nutritions and then you start moving and, and burning that muscle, you going to get gains, y'all. I promise you, you going to get gains. And pull-ups is amazing. I suck at pull-ups. I'm right now, now, I'm not looking, I'm keeping it real. I suck at pull-ups, but we do them though. Right now I'm using, uh, what am I using? Oh, look, let me show them real quick. Let me show them. I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to take y'all to my gym. Fuck it. <laughs> Let me show y'all what I'm using for pull-ups. We got to go down there anyway. Let me show y'all what I, what I use for my pull-ups. <laughs> y'all better not laugh at me either. So look, this is what I do for my pull-ups because I'm trying to work on them. I can do about a good five to six of them like correctly, right? correctly but if i wanted to get up into like my 10s and 20s i use straps so this is my pull-up bar <laughs> and these are what i use so i put these i put these on my knees hit them double doors too so i i get up on a pull-up bar and then i put these on my knees and then i would do my pull-ups and these resistance strands will help keep me up so that's what i'm doing so when we come in, first thing we do is we stretch, we hit the mats, we do our stretching. 
Then right after we do our stretching, we do our uh, we do our training or our warm ups. Then once we do our warm ups, we always hit our cardio. Whether we doing this one or this one, and then we actually get into the workout, and then we actually got our workout plans on the actual wall right here. So that's what we do. And then my favorite is this dip bar. This dip bar crazy. This is what got my chest like it is now, this dip bar. Then of course y'all know I love boxing, so we do a lot of boxing. My boxing, actual boxing bag is on the other side. But yeah, we get it in. And it's an everyday thing, y'all, whether we in town or out of town. Sure. Yep. What they say? Hell, at least you can do a pull up and work out. Right, hey, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. Look, I need to, my pull up game suck, but look, I'm getting there though. I'm telling you, I'm getting there. I'm this, hey, I'm, I'm getting hard as a rock. Yeah, I love them dips as well. And then you know the dips, what I've been noticing is, like I said, I'm not an expert, but when you dip and you lean forward, you work out the chest. But when you dip and you go straight up, you work out the triceps. That's what I've been noticing with that. Can we see your workout plan? No, nope, I had to buy it. And he assumed me. <laughs> he assumed me. I had somebody do me a custom workout plan just for me, and I paid him for it. And the first thing he said before I paid for it is I can't share it with nobody. But I have a workout plan that I've been creating myself that's going to be ready very, very soon, y'all. Very soon. I wish I could show it to y'all. But, uh, I mean, I, I show y'all bits and pieces of it when I, when I post it. Them jail push-ups, yeah. So, yeah, and a lot of people is incorrect on that, too. I do a lot of jail push-ups, you know what I'm saying? And I, I call them half push-ups. When you don't fully extend, when you don't fully extend, that actually give you a good chest pump. When you fully extend, it give you this roundness right here and right here. But them pumps, man, it's crazy. We call them shorties. When I was locked up in prison, that's what we called them. We call them doing shorties. You know what I'm saying? Drop down and give me 100 shorties real quick. I noticed I had a full chest pump. When I got done doing that. And uh, who confirmed that for me is the, uh, Cali Muscle. Cali Muscle, he even said it. He said when you fully extend, you're not leaving all that pressure and you're not leaving all the tension on the pecs. But when you don't fully extend, all the focus is right on the chest. And that's how I always did my push-ups. What we do, we probably do about 200 push-ups uh, a day. So I just do different variations of them. What else we got? Yep, that's what we call them, shorties. You know what I'm talking about. When is the book coming out? When that book coming out? Like your birthday? Yeah, it'll be, I think it'll be before my birthday. It, it will, be, but you said you want to wait and release it. Yeah, I want to release it on my birthday, though. My birthday July 11th, but it'll be ready. Pre-sales -sale, pre will be ready in a month. Pre-sales will be ready in a month. What y'all know about that Nordic? I got one of those. Somebody just mentioned it. Look at this. Somebody just mentioned it. Mine's called, it's called a freak athlete. This mug's super dope. We get our gut. This good for back. This super dope. And of course, y'all see, we keep these on deck. Our coherence capsules, this is for our brain fuel, memory, focus, all of that. Full of mushrooms. Full of shrooms. I got ashwagandha, lion's manes, ginkgo, go to cola. Yeah, all of it. Turkey tail. We almost sold out of these. Y'all can go cop these off the site. I be having a lot of oxygen and brain power. That's how I'm able to fire off what I be firing off. I created my own brain fuel. <laughs> yeah, you got that Nordic too, Daniel? That Nordic is amazing, man. Good for your lower back. Good for your gut. You can buy the uh, you can buy these www.yakidwaking.com. It's on there with all the stuff. Just type in uh, just type in coherence. It'll pop up. All right, y'all. I gotta get to my workout, y'all. I just want to come on here and chop it up with y'all real quick. Let y'all know that the uh, gorilla oh, mix yes. is ready, man. I'm telling you, it's gonna take over. It's gonna take over. And the good thing about it is not for just working out. It's for everyday life, for building amino acids. 
building muscles, giving you energy. It's for all that superfoods, giving you all the phytonutrients you need, the bioflavonoids, the biophotons. It's just super good for the body in general. And the good thing about it, yes, children can take it as well. They can take it on good or Yeah. I mean, children can take all of my stuff. Ah, uh, trust me, we do the hip joints all the time. We unlock the hips. You know, all your memories and traumatic experience stay in the hips. So we do a bunch of hip exercises, unlocking the hips. We unlock the elbows, the shoulders, the knees. We hit our joints a lot, so we do a lot of stretching and all of that. Yes, children can take it, y'all. All right, y'all, I'm finna get up out of here. Peace, love, light of hill, peace of the gods, peace of the earth, peace.